Hello, hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video we will talk about Dixel controllers and the P1 issue. So the P1 is a very common issue in the Dixel controllers. I'm using a CR um, 02 CX version. And as you can see, the, the main problem what there could be, it is a problem which is coming from the sensor, that probe sensor. It's a thermal resistor sensor, and it's an NTC sensor in my case. It's very unlikely that this sensor, it is not working since it is really simple. The, the most issue that it could be, it's, it's because, could be happening, it's because that cable is not connected well. Or in case, if your NTC probe it's uh, it's broken, then uh, you can simply change it. So by changing mean means like you can take out the old probe and simply just switch to an other NTC probe sensor, which is having the same characteristics or very similar characteristics. In my case, this is a 10 kilo ohm probe. Let me try to install it. A few moments later. So after screwing the, the probe to the controller, then it is giving me the same measurement. So since it is both of them, the original sensor and the sensor that I have replaced are NTCs, it is measuring quite well. And what is an NTC meaning actually? NTC is a sensor, it's a thermal resistor sensor. When the temperature changes, then the internal resistance what we are measuring will decrease. So as how the, the temperature increases, then the, the internal resistance of that sensor would be decreasing. So it is really hard to, to reach out to the sensor, but let me generate some heat from my hand. And as you see, the internal resistance of that NTC the, uh, uh, falls just like crazy, uh, crazily fast. The P1 issue, there could be two ways, like fix the wiring, if it's disconnected or just change the sensor as I did. And it is never advisable to work under current just as I did because a lightning up experience. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day. Like and subscribe.